Hey folks, welcome to my high game Steam overlay tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple high game window that is capable of having the Steam overlay on top of it. Let's get started. You'll need Visual Studio Code installed. To do this, you'll need to install Visual Studio via the Visual Studio installer that you can download from Microsoft. I'm not going to walk you through that, but I'm sure that you can find another YouTube video that will show you how to do that. Just be sure to install the C++ extensions. Otherwise, you'll need two other things to download. We'll start by downloading the Steamworks SDK, specifically version 1.55. We're not going to use any of the newer stuff because it seems to not work with the latest version of Steamworks Pi. So go ahead and download version 1.55. You'll get that at the partner.steamworks.com. You'll only have access to this if you have a Steamworks login. So you'll need that prior to this. So go ahead and get that set up if you haven't already. The other thing that we'll need is the Steamworks Pi source code. So go ahead and get on over to the GitHub for the Steamworks Pi and download the code via the link here, specifically the download zip link. Now that those are downloaded, you should just have a simple folder with those two files in it. And we're gonna go ahead and extract both of them. Now what we're gonna have to do here is compile the Steamworks Pi DLL file. Now the one that comes with it in the redist folder is not gonna work. We don't, we don't wanna use this one, don't use that one. What we're going to need to do is copy a few files from the SDK into our Steamworks Pi folder. So with both of those folders open, we're going to go ahead and navigate to our Steamworks master. From our SDK folder, we're going to go into public. We're going to copy the Steam folder, go to our library, and then go into SDK and paste it into there. We're also going to go ahead and go into our redistributable bin folder. And depending on which version of your operating system you have, either Windows 32-bit or Linux or OS X or Windows 64, we're going to do a Windows 64 here. We're going to go in here and we're going to grab these Steam API DLL and lib files. And we're going to go into the Redist folder and plop those in there. Okay, that should be all you need to get from the SDK folder. Let's go ahead and go back to our Steamworks Pi master folder. And we can actually just go ahead and close this now because we don't need that anymore. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna copy that directory. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna run the native tools command prompt for Visual Studio 2022. Okay. And with this open, we're gonna go ahead and type CD and then paste that directory right in there. And finally, we're going to actually build the DLL now. The buildwin64 batch file is used to compile the Steamworks Pi DLL. To do this, we're gonna type buildwin64.bat space 2022. That's our version of Visual Studio and it's gonna run, and when it's done, you're gonna see one file moved. If you don't see that, if you see some errors, you probably copied some files wrong, but that's how you do it. Now we've got that DLL compiled. We can close the native tools command prompt and navigate to our redist folder here, go to Windows, and there we have a freshly compiled DLL file. We're gonna go ahead and copy that back to our main directory here, Steam game, boom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our SDK folder again. We're gonna go to our redistributables for Win64. We're gonna grab those API libraries, API DLLs, and go back to our main directory here and paste them in there. The other thing that we need to copy to our main directory is in the Steamworks Pi master directory. Go there and copy the entire Steamworks folder and paste it one level up. Now we can go ahead and delete the zip files. 
and we can delete their extracted folders. And this is the base structure for our game. At this point, we're going to start creating a Pygame game like we would normally. To do this, we're going to go ahead and open, a note, open this folder and we're going to open it with VS Code. Now that we have our VS Code opened, we'll go ahead and create three files. The first one being game.py. We'll also create a steam.py. And finally, a steam underscore app ID dot txt file. Starting with our game.py, we'll go ahead and create a basic Pygame loop with a window that is blue. To do this, let's go ahead and import Pygame and create a game class with an initializer. In our initializer, we're going to go ahead and initialize Pygame, create a clock, set a running variable to false, and finally we're going to create our screen. One of the most important things about creating our screen is the inclusion of the Pygame.scaled flag. This is an absolute must if you want to use the Steam overlay. To do this, we'll set a resolution such as 192 by 108. Using the pygame.scaled flag, we'll automatically scale this up to a much larger size if you're using it in a windowed mode, or if you're using it in full screen mode, it will automatically scale those pixels to the screen size. And that's it for our game class, except for a few functions that we need to implement, specifically the update function, which is not going to do anything, but this is where you would pass delta time and perform your game update logic. Our next function is the draw function, which we're going to just fill with dark blue and flip the display. Finally, we're going to need a run function, which is going to run our game loop. When we run the game loop, we're going to set our running flag to true. And while self.running is true, we're going to get our delta time by ticking the clock. Next, we're going to flush our event loop. And while we're flushing this, we're going to check for pygame.quit events. When we find a quit event, we're going to set our running flag to false. Finally, we're going to run our update logic. And again, we're not actually doing anything here, but in your game, maybe you would have your update logic run in the loop. Finally, we're going to draw to our screen. That's it for our game class. Now, when we run game.py, we want it to automatically create a game and run it. To do this, we're going to check if our dunder name is equal to dunder main. And if it is, we'll create a game and run it. At this point, we can go ahead and save and run the program, which will give us this nice big blue window and nothing else. We'll go ahead and close that window. Note I am running Python 3.12 and the latest version of Pygame CE, which is a better version of Pygame. So if you don't have that, please install it. It's better. Pip uninstall Pygame and pip install pygame-ce to get that installed. One thing that Steamworks Py is going to check for is the Steam app id.txt file in your working directory. This file is a very simple text file that contains the app ID of the game that you're creating. So in my case, Isometria's app ID is 259-6940. I'll go ahead and just save that. It's very important that you have whatever app ID you put in here in your Steam library when you run this in order for it to run properly. It will check for this app ID, and if it does not find it, it will throw an exception. So make sure that you have the proper app ID in there. And that's all you need to do for the Steam app ID. Now for the juicy part. In order to get Steam Overlay working with your game, we're going to need to go ahead and load those DLLs into our operating system's path. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and import OS. And we're going to call the os.addll directory 
and which directory are we going to add? We're going to add the current working directory. And what this is going to do is it's going to add our current working directory with our DLL and lib file, making it so that the operating system is aware that these DLLs exist. And when we copied over our Steamworks directory into our working directory, this is going to be treated as essentially a module by Python. So what we're going to do is we're going to say from Steamworks, import Steamworks. And finally, we're going to say that Steamworks is equal to an instance of Steamworks, right? So Steamworks object. And what this will do is it'll create our main Steamworks object that we can then use to interact with the Steam API. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and initialize the Steamworks object. When you initialize the Steamworks object, there are a lot of errors that can be thrown, such as Steam not running, or the app ID is not in your library, or Steam is not loaded, etc. So you'll, you'll need to handle these but it's easiest to just do a try block with steamworks.initialize with an accept block, accepting OS error. And what this is gonna catch is if your Steam ID, the app, the Steam app ID that you put in here is not in your library, it's gonna throw an OS error, basically a per permission denied error. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna exit our program. Another pretty common exception is going to be a Steam not running exception. We're gonna go ahead and import that. And what we'll just do here is we'll catch that exception and we'll go ahead and exit as well if it's Steam is not running, right? So these are the main errors. I, you can go ahead and add, you know, Steam not loaded, et cetera. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that, but this is where you would add them. We go ahead and save that file. And that's, that's pretty much it for the Steam implementation. Very simple. We're not gonna actually do any sort of API stuff, but if you wanted to do some API stuff, what you're gonna do is access, for instance, the users, and then you can do get Steam ID, you know, get your uh, authentication ticket, get your badge level, these kind of things, check if someone's logged in, you know, all, all this kind of stuff. Head back over to your game.py, scroll up, and the very first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna import our steam.py file. And we're not actually gonna use it. All that's gonna do is import it into our main file. And when it gets imported, it's gonna just run all of this code. And that's, that's all you need to do to get this working. It's, it's really that simple. Now, when we run our game, It'll run and you should see the little pop up down in the bottom right hand side. And if we press shift tab, you're going to see that we are, in fact, running the overlay in our Pygame window. As you can see, I have no friends, but Isometria is running. It's in my library. Good stuff, fun times. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video because that really does help. And if you haven't already, go ahead and wishlist Isometria. Do it now. Thanks. Have a good one.